Hey there everyone, welcome back to Kenshi, and we had just finished research on public sales, and we got one guy training over there, we got a bunch of people mining, some other guys building materials, and of course Nando at the research desk, as always. So right now, not too much is happening, uh, I just did a quick save just in case uh, the game crashes, because you know it is an alpha, so not all the bugs have been worked out and I have all tabbed out before and the game's crashed so I gotta be careful uh, especially if I get like a Skype message that tends to screw it up so right now I just got it on speed mode and I'm getting a lot of materials I need to stockpile these uh, building materials I'll go ahead and put Jin's old backpack on grindstone since it was in his inventory and moved the building materials there so they don't uh, pile up uh, I don't have storage yet, so they won't move it anyway. There's nowhere to move it, so I have to manually put that in their inventory. Eventually, once I put a storage down, they'll be able to just drag it over to the storage. So it looks like our pal here over at the training dummy just leveled up one, and that goes to his attack skill. I believe that is Keeman. And everybody's still mining, checking out the inventory. I'm just going to speed up this portion of the video until something happens. Because this is one of the slow phases of the game, as I said before. So for all of you stat fans, I'm showing you here the armor and what it kind of does. Uh, every armor, of course, has different attributes, just like in every different game. So here it shows you what, what portions of the body it will protect and what kind of damage it will protect against. In this case, that armor only protected your chest and your right arm. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed this back up because nothing is going on again and there's really nothing else to show you yet. So. Okay, so I just finished my research for storage boxes, so I went ahead and started putting those down because uh, it'll automatically, rather than what you saw me doing, in which I had to manually go in and move the stone or the building materials from the machine into my player's inventory, I can now just have them automatically run to the storage, put it in, run back, and keep working. Uh, of course, once they're built, that is. So now things are going to go a lot quicker in that regard. Uh, I won't have to micromanage as much now. They'll do it for me. So right here I start laying the groundwork for the rest of my base. I'm going to need a place to build uh, my storage, uh, more storage, uh, my store, and my research bench level 2. So uh, to plan for that I went ahead and built a house and put it next to one of my shacks. And I don't have enough building materials to build it yet so I'm, I didn't divert anyone to go build it yet. But I'm just kind of laying the groundwork for what I'm going to do next. Uh, I'm just, you know, figuring out how I want to place this, how I'm going to design my base. Uh, so I place that there, and I'm going to have like a nice little lane there, ending with the stone processor there. And I'm just going to have the town run across down like that. So for right now, I just left everybody building, getting enough building materials to when I can now finish the house. Uh, and that's it for right now. 
just kind of laid that groundwork there for that house. And I also checked to see where the nearest town was because I needed to get more people. I'm running low on people. Just lost Jin, so. Uh, nearest town that wasn't the other one because I last time I checked there was no one there So I'm not sure how the refreshing system works yet in terms of people So I decided I needed to go to a different town in order to recruit more people So clearly that wasn't going to be the town next to me. I need to go out somewhere And I just finished stone mining here, so I go ahead and upgrade this to level 2 so that way my construction, my mining goes a lot faster than it was at the time, at that time. So I have everybody work on that because that was really cheap to do. And as you can see, it goes really quick. So some of the upgrades are really easy, especially when they're infrastructure like this rather than full on buildings or beds and things like that. So that's it for now. I'll speed it up again. You see me here, I'm just kind of reorganizing my research thing. I figured I really need to start producing rum because I have no money and I don't want to sell construction materials because those are way too heavy to transport. Rum is worth a lot of money and can be easily made if I have people working on farming and I'm going to build a farm here shortly. So I just decided I reorganized my thing to where I finished my weapon smithing because I just finished ore mining. Well, I mean, it was at zero hours, so that's pretty much finishing it. And after ore smithing, ore mining, weapon smithing is what you use ore for. So I figured I might as well keep that at least together. And then after those had finished, I was going to, I'm researching rum and then level two and so on and so forth. Uh, but the rum is going to be good. I can sell that. It's quick. It's easy to transport. Uh, it does take a little, I mean, it is hard to build. Uh, it requires water and straw from a farm and a well. And the farm also needs water, so it can be a little tricky to balance those out enough to where you can get rum, but it's worth a lot of money. So the more rum you have, the better. <laughs> So you can see right here, I'm um, figuring out where I'm going to place the farm. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which side of the buildings I want to put it on. I decide finally that I'm going to end up putting it uh, behind my base. Only because when I tried to put it over here, you can see it's red. <laughs> and I can't put it there, probably because it's too close to the nearest town. So I'm just putting it uh, behind my buildings and I'm going to put a well above it. Okay guys, I'm probably going to end it here. Uh, it's gonna be shorter than most of my videos on Kenshi, probably because nothing happened, which, you know, really isn't that bad of a thing considering what happened last few times. Uh, we were owned by bandits and Jin died. 
But we're moving on from that now. We've got our base set up. We're getting everything going again. Uh, Nando is doing a great job at his research fence. We got a lot done. We got our house, the framework for our house set, our farm set, and our well set. We've got two storage bins now, so that is completely automated. I no longer have to worry about that. I can just sit back and do this nice little panoramic. We got Keeman training. He's leveled up twice in this episode, uh, his attack skill, so he's going to be more useful in a fight. I've decided we're going to shift focus here from con construction materials to rum as soon as we have enough construction materials to build the farm, of course, and the rum still, which we haven't researched yet, but we will be researching next. I had to shuffle up our research a little bit, and I think that was, uh, we did pretty good this episode. We got a lot done, and next episode, hopefully we'll be able to finish up our rum farm. I'll see you guys next time. Alright, remember to like and subscribe everyone. Thank you for watching. Check out our vanilla Minecraft series, our Tech It Minecraft series, which we've just revitalized. Our Bane and Batman series, which is our most popular series right now. And I will see you guys next time.